Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and I'm coming to you with my set morning makes that I've been working on. We started working on it Friday night because I had a lot of cutting to do and then I worked on it Saturday morning and then I had to go away for a while and then I finished it up uh, Saturday night and then just kind of finished a couple little things this morning, Sunday morning. So I wanted to get with you and get this on YouTube. So Set Morning Makes is uh, put on by Jillian Norwood from Jillian Norwood Designs on YouTube. It's an open collab that anybody can join in. And we just go in and we show um, others what we've been working on and what we've been creating. So whatever art or thing you like to create, you can go on and just use the hashtag set morn makes and you too can join in and if you just want to see what everybody's been up to then just use that same hashtag set morn makes and it'll pull up what all the um people are doing with their makes so uh it's it's fun and there's so many um creative people on there and i will leave a link down in the description box to Jillian's um, YouTube channel. So go ahead and check her out and see what everybody's been up to. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So much creativity out there. So what I uh, had to come up with was I'm in a swap of, um, that I talked about last week. And then this one is a winter banner. So each person had to create one letter for the banner. And my letter happened to be N. So what I did was, and you can see here, and, and they turned out so cute. Sorry about any glare. This is a shaker. And I created a little winter town. And then I uh, had my N here. Here's what it looks like without the N on it. I wanted to show you one without the N. So I had fun making these. So and then I'll just glue this in right on there like the other ones. So I had to create um, five because five of us uh, decided to go. So that left the um, one who started the swap. That left her. She uh, is doing two letters for us. So I had to create five. One for myself, of course. And um, when I get all my uh, letters, then I will make my banner up and hang it up in my craft room. So I'll go over the materials that I use to create this so I oh and I'll show you the back and I took this one over this way so this piece here is just the cutout from the window here so and I stamped it with this stamp set one went to wishes is the only stamp I used out of here and I got this on AliExpress so I don't I don't even remember I've had it a couple years but I got it from AliExpress and then I also used just the to and from from this stamp set, which is also from AliExpress. And then I got um, I one moment. Sorry about that. My um, daughter and her family are traveling back from Wisconsin, and we have quite a bit of snow, so. She was just calling in, and I will call them back. So sorry about the interruption there. So anyway, so I just used the, um, this to stamp out what the uh, exchange was and the year and that stuff. And I also used where's the stamp. Oh, I used the trees. I used the two trees from the stamp set also. So the warm winter wishes and the two trees. Sorry about that. Okay. And then I use, of course, some, um, just some, it's not even a name brand, I don't believe, um, double-sided tape, foam tape. And then I just use my uh, Teflon scissors to cut that. It makes it so easy. They don't stick. I use the Tim Holtz 662421 and the die set is Snow Globe number two. And I used... Uh, the town, of course. And I ended up cutting out my own snow to get it configured right for this die. And I used the two clouds. 
and I did of course my houses in the different varieties of grays so I did use that die set and I used silver um, cardstock I think I got this at Michael's it was in 12 by 12 sheets and just some white glitter I know it's kind of hard to see some white glitter cardstock and I also used this is an older paper it's from Bow Bunny it's altitude it is item number 17101665 and it's a Bow Bunny and I just I when I purchased it I purchased probably about 10 sheets of it because I just loved both sides and I'm and I'm almost out now because it took me quite a bit to I think I had to use three and a half sheets two and a half sheets anyway I had, I've, I've used quite a bit of it since I bought it and I don't see a year on here but I know I've had it for a few years but love that paper collection and I also use the Elizabeth craft designs large um, mason jar and it's actually a you can make a flip book out of it and it is eight and three eighths inches high just the jar itself is four and almost four and a quarter well four and an eighth and then with the little um, attachment to make it, it's four and three quarters so I ended up um, shortening it by cutting like the upper half and then flipping it and bringing in the lower half and cutting it so um, there is a YouTube video on it um, if you just look up this specific thing that, but I love this die and it comes with these so it comes like with the top with the dripping snow or ice penguins snowflakes trees um, jar top different things and then it also comes with a stamp set so and I haven't used any of the stamps yet and it comes with this little booklet thing that shows you different ideas which is real and I don't know if my book is handy that I created might be let me see oh yeah right here so it makes an adorable little book so I did a a shaker book um, last year I think there's I think there's a video on it and I just laid a bunch of boxes and stuff and just created a nice little Christmas flip book with the same die set so it's a fun die I'm gonna use it more often I think but so that is what I used oh and I used for my shaker I used these bits here were just I believe from Hobby Lobby and then this is part of a three pack of Christmas ones from the Dollar Tree and I use these from Hobby Lobby the glitter stars what did I use oh and I used this Martha Stewart punch to get my small hold this in up so I got the end cut out of white and then I used Hmm, which one did I use? I used Tim Holtz weathered wood to smudge the edges. Kind of a gray. And then I've got one a little bit, a little bit bigger snowflake and two of the smaller ones glued on there. And so the bigger one came from this corner punch, which is also Martha Stewart. And then the little ones came from this Martha Stewart punch. I think that's everything I used. I had fun making them. Um, like I said, I had to make five of them. So uh, I thought they turned out good. So I made them all exactly the same. And I've just got to punch two holes in the top. I didn't do that yet. So I'll punch two holes before I send them out. But thanks for taking a look and see what I've been up to. I look forward to see um, what you've been up to. And... I think that's it. I look forward to dropping in hopefully next week for the next Sat Morning Makes. Until then, I wish you and your family many, many blessings. Hugs and love to you.
Have a great week. Bye-bye.